Hi students of class 6. Today we will revise the question answer of chapter 3. Those who have finished writing the question answer and send it to me for uh, correction. Very good. Those who have not done, please finish the writing part fast and send it to me at dphjhelpdesk at the rate gmail.com for correction. Uh, today you can take your book or your copy in your hand for revision of the question answer. So let's start the class. The first question answer that we have in this chapter is in how many ways can we create a table and name them? We can create a table in basically six ways in MS Word. The ways are use the grid button, using the insert table option, using the draw table option, creating tables using quick table inserting an excel sheet in the file and use it like a table converting some existing data in our document into a tabular form next differentiate between a row and a column for this we have to make a table one side we have to mention row another side we have to mention column now below row we have to write a row is a horizontal series of cells in a table below column we have to write a column is the vertical series of cells in a table next how will we insert a column in the table to the right of the selected column for this we have to mention the steps so the first step is click on the column where we want to insert a new column right click on the mouse and from the shortcut menu choose insert another drop down list appear choose the required option that is insert column to the right next question what are the options available in auto fit the options available in auto fit are first auto fit content it will adjust the column width according to the text in the cells if there is no text the column width will shrink auto fit window when we click on auto fit window it will automatically fit between the margins if we add a blank column it will adjust to fit in the page margin fixed column width if we want our columns to remain of the same width we can use fixed column width option next what is a table a table represent the data in the form of rows and columns next how will we select an entire row in a table two methods are there the first method is bring the mouse pointer to the left of the table this is called the selection bar the cursor changes to a white arrow click in the area to select the entire row and the second method is click on the first cell keeping the shift key pressed press the right or left arrow key or click on the cells which two additional tabs appear when we work with tables if the table or part of it is selected table tool will have two new tabs design and layout with options to format and modify the tables are added to the ribbon so these are all the question answers that we have done of chapter 3 those who have not finished writing please finish it first and send me the work for correction if you have any query regarding today's class please write in the comment box i will reply you back so everyone stay at home stay healthy finish your work on time and bye bye